This video describes the steps for deep brain stimulation surgery. The first step is to attach a stereotactic frame. Velcro straps are used to position the frame on your head. The four pin sites are injected with local anesthetic to minimize any discomfort. Once numb, the pin screws are inserted and are tightened. You may feel some pressure as the pins are tightened down. I think so. Thank you. I feel so much better. Next, you will have a CT scan taken of your brain. A box-shaped device is placed over the top of the frame. Markers in the box show up on the scans and help pinpoint the exact location of the target area within the brain. A computer fuses the CT images with the MRI images taken earlier. The surgeon plans the exact trajectory of the electrodes, much like a pilot creates a pre-flight plan prior to flying. This critical step ensures that the electrode tip is placed precisely in the subthalamic nucleus. Next, you'll be taken to the operating room. The anesthesiologist will attach numerous lines and monitoring equipment to your body. The head frame is secured to the table to prevent any small movements of your head during surgery. The hair is shaved about an inch wide along the incision line, and the skin incision is marked across the top of your head. At some centers, a full head shave may be performed. Ask your surgeon about any options. Your head is then cleansed and draped. Light sedation is given to make you more comfortable during the skin incision, and you may fall asleep, but later you will be awakened so that you can talk to the doctors. Using a special drill, two quarter-sized holes are made on the left and right sides of your skull. You may feel some vibration, but feel no pain. Plastic covers are placed in the hole to secure the electrodes later. Next, an arc-shaped device is attached to the head frame. The electrode driver is attached to the arc. And then based on calculations from the planning computer, the recording electrode is inserted to a specific depth and angle inside the brain. The recording electrode detects the brain cells firing and displays the waveforms on a computer. The surgical team will listen for the correct nerve cells while moving your arms and legs. This is the most time-consuming part of the procedure, and it must be repeated for both the left and right sides of the brain. Once the exact nerve cells are located, the recording electrode is replaced with the permanent DBS lead. Then test stimulation is performed. You will be asked to count numbers and tap your fingers, and you will be asked if you feel any tingling or if your symptoms lessen or go away. When the team is satisfied with electrode placement, a plastic cap is placed over the burr hole to hold the lead in place. The process is repeated for the other side. A coil of wire is left under the scalp for later attachment to the extension wire in the stimulator. The scalp incision is closed and a bandage is applied. A week later, you will have another surgery to implant the stimulator in your chest below the collarbone. The extension wires are tunneled under the skin of your neck up to the electrodes. At a later office visit, the stimulator will be programmed and your medication dosage adjusted.